Oh, we're back. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. We lost our uh, internet connection. But we're back now, back with a vengeance. So, uh, stay with us. We're going to get ourselves sorted with a uh, warm-up in a second. Uh, the guys are all getting themselves lined up ready. Uh, I was just telling you about the stadium tour that starts off on uh, Friday at 12 o'clock, so join us for that. RPE-wise, make sure that you're working around about the 9 or 10 mark for your warm-up. We're going to hit around the 12, 11, at uh, 12, uh, 13, possibly 14 on your main workout. Work to your own level, though, okay? Um, get some water, make sure you've got some water available for you. Everybody's here, they're getting ready to, to do their warm up. So uh, just give me a second while I get myself in, into position and we'll go for it. So if you want to just turn around this way, guys, we'll do our warm up this way today. Seeing as um, Lee always likes to go at the back, so we'll, uh, we'll move the position today. Right, so let's have a march on the spot to start off with. <laughs> See. There was a method in my bad to say, we'll go for a little walk round, shall we? Have a look what's going on. <laughs> okay, and from there, let's put some bicep curls in at the same time. Just bringing those arms up. Work to your own pace. <laughs> I, want, I want you to think about your foot placement on this. So you're going to come down onto the ball of the foot first and roll through to the heels. So let's just have a look at that motion there. So come down onto the toes, balls and heels first before me there, Lee. That's it. So really flexing through those ankle joints mobilizing through there okay hold it there for us let's have a little shoulder lift towards the shoulders towards the ears and down and bring the shoulder up towards the ears rather than down and then take it into a roll so bring it forward lift it up towards your ears roll it back bring the shoulder blades together imagine you're going to put your shoulder blades into your back pockets it's that sort of motion you're going for yeah so really mobilize through that shoulder hi mash good afternoon good evening welcome along hi audrey it's, uh, they're well trained. They're well trained. What can I say? Sorry? No, Ben's not back with us yet. If you are Ben, say hello. Right, okay. Uh, from there, come back into your march and let's put an arm swing in as well. So, swing from your shoulders here, okay? So, elbows roughly at 90 degrees. <laughs> elbows roughly, elbows at 90 degrees. <laughs> and then. Work through. Uh, Rich is with us, so say hello to Richie, everybody. Oh, no, Richie said that you tried turning it off and on again. Yeah, we've done that. Good morning, Damien. Oh, good evening, Damien. Welcome on board. As you can see, there's a reason why Lee always goes at the back in the warm up. Ben, you're here. Good to have you with us. Um, let's go for those arm swings again just for the hell of it, eh? Look at this. Look at this. Missed your vocation, Lee. Missed your vocation. All right. From there, let's have a little heel dig in front. <laughs> a little heel dig in front. Oh, yeah. Ben says he's glad to see that your coordination is still top notch. It's top something, Lee. I don't know about notch. Say hi to David. Hi, He's just had his dinner. So, David, you might want to take it a little bit easier if you've just eaten. Or you can always watch it back later and do it again. Okay, from there, come back into your march and let's have some shoulder circles. So some arm circles there, taking the arms out to the side. And then let's take it the other way. So back the other way. Excellent. All right, from there, bring it back in. Let's have a knee lift, taking the knees up. I hear a few groans as the knees come in here. Look, listen to the muscles. No, they're not going for it today. And then kick the heels up towards your bone. I want you to shift your weight from side to side as well as you do that. Excellent. Okay, from there, come in, take your feet shoulders width. Keep your hips locked where they are and twist to the side. So twist your trunk, keeping the hips, hips locked. Now, if you feel those hips moving, stand against a wall or something and do that turn. So you're trying to keep the hips locked, just isolating. Uh, you want to turn your body, Lee, rather than just your head. <laughs> I saw that. I got good peripheral vision, you know. <laughs> okay, right from there, come back into the march. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay, from there, let's take the arms above the head. So, arms above and down again. Excellent. 
You can take them out to the side, you can take them to the front if you want, whichever you want, just take them up and down. Keeping that, <laughs> keeping that movement going. Excellent, and then from there, let's take the legs shoulder width again. Let's have a little squat down and up. <laughs> so imagine you're gonna sit yourself down into a chair, change your mind and, sit, and come back up. Keep the chest lifted for me, back nice and straight. Excellent, okay, from there, come back in, have a little march again, and bring those knee lifts back in for me. Now, with your knee lift, try and take the opposite hand across to the opposite knee. Hand across if you can, if you're feeling a little bit more agile, make it the forearm. Uh, you can take it a bit further if you want to and make it the elbow. And John can nail this one. You can do the opposite ear if you want. Go on, John. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Don't try that at home. All right, from there, come back into your march for me. Shoulders width, and you're going to step forward into a lunge. So, heel down at the front, lunge into it, push back up through the heel. Back foot is coming onto its toes at the back. There you go, look. <clears throat> Okay, if you're watching this live, by the way, and you want to get rid of the comments, you can swipe to the right and they'll disappear off and then you get to see Lee in his full glory. Yeah, so you might, you might want to put the comments back on. <laughs> They're nasty to you, aren't they, Lee? There must be a reason. We'll find out later. Okay, back into that march. Keep those feet moving. Let's have some swimming arms. So front crawl. for a breaststroke. <laughs> and then let's take it the other way. Let's go for a back crawl. So we're just really mobilizing through those shoulders. That's it. Feet stay moving the whole time. Lovely job. Okay, from there, come back in. March it out for me. And you're going to step to the side. Step back in and step to the side. So have a look here. The toe comes down first as you step out. So toe placement first. We'll have a look at John for this one. So toe placement down to the heel as you step out to the side. Come back into the centre and then step the other way. Keep going. <laughs> Try and keep your knees in line as well. Are you okay there, Lee? Which is the knee? Is it that one? Yeah, it shows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from there, march it out for me. Don't know why I'm shouting, sorry. It's just been a quiet, it's been a quiet day. <clears throat> okay, so keep that march going for me. Come back in with your knee lifts, bring them up and try and make them a bit higher this time, okay? Excellent. How are we doing for time? We're doing well. Keep going, everybody, keep going. You want about 10 minutes for a warm up. Do what feels comfortable with you. Do whatever you feel comfortable with as far as this is concerned. You don't have to follow this exactly. If you find those knee lifts are uh, a bit hard work, you can stay with the march. Just make it a bit stronger. Come back into that march and let's have a swing of those arms. Why not? Seeing as you brought it in, Lee. So really swing those arms through. Good, strong march. Okay. We're going to make this a bit of a bigger movement. We're not going to make it faster just to boost that warm up a little bit further, okay? So for 10 seconds at a time, we're going to go for a bigger move, not a faster move, all right? So after five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Bigger moves. That's it. Really swing those arms, Lee. That's it. And then bring it back down into a lower march. We'll do that two more times. There we go. We'll come this way so you get, can see them all. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So if ever you wondered, if, if ever you had a G.I. Joe action man when you were a kid, this is what it was modelled on. Look. Look at that. Moving joints. Action man. Oh, G.I. Joe was the American version, wasn't it? Sorry. Sorry, I went all American then. And stop. Bring it down to a lower one. And just do one last spurt of that, okay? So we're going to go higher for 10 seconds. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> hey, could you, 
Did you see the mouth moving there? Lee was counting it out as well. It reminds me of my dad. Yeah? My dad's lips always move when he's reading as well. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, Lee. Don't stop. And then bring it down into a lower march. Lovely job. Take your feet shoulders width and just shift your weight from side to side. Okay. Have a drink if you need one. We have seven stations for you tonight. As always, we have an easy option, we have a medium option, and we have a higher option. I'm just going to make my way up to station one because I've got to go this way now. So, you know, there's a reason why we always start at that end, you see, because that's where station one is. But hey, we wanted to get Lee at the front for once. Oh, it's a good job you didn't see that. Okay, so station one, where are we? We're around here. Station one is steering wheels. You have three options. All of them are with weight. You can do it without weight if you wanted to, all right? So, let's have a look. Here we are. So, station, uh, station one, steering wheels, okay? Thanks, Cover that number two on there. <laughs> so, we have our easier option, which is here with Nathan. Um, so, you can see that this, the steering is happening, rotating it through. One hand is going onto the top, while the other goes on the bottom, close into the body, feet moving the whole time. Jack is extending it away, uh, exactly the same again. Uh, feet are moving, rotating that weight round. And then we come to John, who is in a split stance. So one foot is back, one foot is forward. Toes pointing in the same direction, which they are. Good straight back and onto the balls of the feet. Okay, so we're gonna go for a minute of this. Guys, can I just get you to move along a little bit and then because, Jack, you're just dis disappearing into the notice board. It's the old blue on, it's the on blue on, blue on blue thing. Right, so a minute, are you ready? Let's go. So, have a look, we're gonna come sideways on, just quickly so we can see the posture, look. All three, standing tall, shoulders are back and down, feet are moving the whole time. Now you've got a variety of movements as far as this is concerned for your feet. You can pedal the feet or you can march, but whichever you do, make sure that you go um, onto the, to the uh, balls of the feet first, then through to your heel. If you've gone for the higher option, then you're coming up to your 30 seconds, so change your leg over. So change your leg over, John, that's it. Just give that other leg a bit of a rest, all right? Um, if you want to come up or down the levels, you can. So you'll notice because Jack is the medium level there, he uh, has his um, arms extended out in front. If you wanted to bring him down to Nathan's level, you can do. Likewise, if you wanted to go from uh, Nathan to Jack, you can. And if you wanted to go for a John move for the last couple of seconds, you could as well. That is your minute. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're moving on. Station number two. And station number two tonight, station number two tonight is our uh, squats, okay? So here we are with our squats. We have three options. We know. <laughs> Lee is our easy option today. I thought it was meant to be easy. What are you doing? <laughs> this, a squat, yeah? So we're just sitting down into it and we're coming back up. I don't know what was going on with the arms there. What was all that about? Okay. I think he was, he was going back to his days of, in the nightclubs. Saturday night fever. Did you have a white suit? Oh, did you? Or was it white stilettos? Uh, there we go. Right, so we're just squatting down. Medium level is uh, Nathan here. So a weight in the hand, taking the weight down towards the floor, bringing it back up. And then our higher option here is Jack, who's got a little jump in there as well. So holding the weight close into the body, a little jump up out of that squat, okay? So those are your three options. Choose which one you want. The important thing here is that you keep the feet planted on the floor, apart from if you're going for the higher option where you've got that little jump, and you stand tall. Are you ready? Let's go. So a minute to start. So let's come sideways on so you can see. And here we have back chest staying lifted, yeah? Feet flat on the floor, pushing the weight down through the heels to bring yourself back up to that standing position. Weight is close into the body. 
And there, Jack has got the little jump on the end as well. All right, so you choose. And again, if you want to start with one and change to come to a different one, then feel free. You go up and down those as much as you like. Now, this is not about speed. It's about quality of okay? You get a far better movement, a far better workout by having a good technique, technical move, all right? So you don't have to go hell for leather. You need quality over quantity. All right, Jack's still jumping there, look. The choice is yours, which one you want to go for. Do whichever you want to and change as you feel you need to as well. That is your minute. Great job, everybody. Well done. We're moving on to station number three. Now, station number three is our single arm row. <clears throat> so, with this, you're going to need weight. If you don't have hand weights at home, remember what I said to you a couple of weeks ago. Um, use something around the house. So a, a four pint milk bottle filled with water, or still filled with milk if you want, you know, hey, <laughs> is two and a half kilograms, uh, or just shy of two and a half kilograms. So uh, you go for which one you want, yeah? Um, now, again, this is your single arm row. So we have, uh, da -da -da -dum, single arm row. Easier option is jump here, uh, split stance, arm staying close to the body, driving up towards the chest. Intermediate is Lee. So there we're coming from a, a kneeling and hip hinged position to a standing position, drawing that up into the shoulders, okay? And the arm is coming out to the side there. And then we have Nathan, who has got that lift on the end. So can you see the difference? It's a little bit faster, but have a look at his feet. He's coming onto the balls of his feet. So raising his heels off the floor. Those are your options for this one, okay? Are you ready? Let's go. So, <clears throat> controlled movement, regardless of which one you're going for. We're going to, at 30 seconds, change over to the other side. All right? So, feet are flat on the floor with John and Lee. And as you can see, Nathan is just putting that toe raise, um, or raise onto his toes on the end of it to give it that little bit of extra impact. All right. We're coming up to our 30 seconds, so change to your other hand, get yourself set up if you need to, and let's go again. All right, so again, shoulders are nice and straight here for John, look. So have a look at the shoulder line. It's nice and straight, he's not twisting through. Whereas with Lee, you have got the twist because we're bringing that arm a little bit higher. So John's is really just coming into his, his chest, into his armpit, whereas Lee is coming up and actually rotating it through. And Nathan, again, as you can see, is doing that rotation and has got that lift in there as well. Go as low or as high as you need to as far as that's concerned. So you don't have to come right down to the floor. And that is your minute, folks. Well done. Good job. Okay, moving on to station number four. Now, station number four, I need to come around this way so I don't uh, go through the starting line. Station number four is our wall sit. Uh, again, three options. Um, we have our easy option, we have our intermediate option, and we have our harder option. Jack is our uh, easy option here, sitting against the wall, look. So a little bit lower down, but you take it to where you want to. No, I'm not saying you go a little bit lower down, but it is it's lower than just leaning against the wall, yeah? There is a definite knee bend in there, and you're sitting against that wall. Take it as high or as low as you feel comfortable with. Yeah, listen to your knees. John, exactly the same sort of thing. He is a little bit lower, but um, doesn't necessarily have to be. It's what's comfortable for you. Uh, but he has um, a weight into his chest, okay? And then we come to Lee. Lee sitting against the wall. We've come down to a right angled position there and, and extending the arms out in front with that weight. Uh, what you got there, Lee? Is it seven kilogram? Seven, seven kilograms, okay. So we'll, uh, we'll make sure we keep an eye on Lee for this one. <laughs> All right, okay, are we ready? I think it's going to be painful, that one. Are you ready? Your minute starts now. So choose the position you want, but you want to be back against the wall. So whichever position you've gone for, you're leaning against that wall. Just have a quick look at this. Look at the pain there, look. <laughs> look at the pain on that face. There we go. Um, you can have a rest now, if you want, Lee. Uh, okay. So sitting against that wall... You may feel your knees or your legs start to shake, especially the thigh, the upper thigh region, okay? That is perfectly normal. If you need to bring yourself up a little to have a bit of a rest and then come back into it, go for it. Do what is right for you, okay? And if you want to come from a higher level to a lower level, 
And the option you have with this one, uh, if, with Lee, if you're holding that weight out front and you want to have a bit of a rest, bring the weight in towards the chest. Give yourself a little bit of a rest and then take it back out when you're ready. Okay, those are your options. And obviously, from John's perspective, if you wanted to make it a little bit easier, you could lose that weight part way through. Okay? Um, there we go. That is your minute. Well done. Good job. Brilliant job there, Lee. Well done. Okay, we're moving on. Station number five today is our um, Arnold Press. Okay, so here we are, station five, Arnold Press. So we have three options again. Um, Nathan's gonna be a ba our base option and it's using body resistance only, okay? So as you do that move, don't just go through the motion, actually put some resistance in there. So resist against it as you bring the arms out, resist against it as you push them up. Jack is our here and we have some weight in there as well. Um, and the important thing with both of those, you'll have noticed, is that the feet were moving the whole time as well. And then we come to John, who again has gone for his split stance. So um, 30 seconds, we're going to call it out so you can change legs on that one. So choose which one you want. Let's get ourselves ready and let's go. Okay, so make sure your feet stay moving the whole time and make sure that you work to your own level, okay? Let's come around here, we'll have a look at posture again. So, uh, nice straight backs look, all right? So we're not leaning forward, we're not leaning back, especially John there, where we, we're splitting the stance. The, the weight is straight upright, trying to keep that uh, center of gravity balanced and in the center. We're coming up to our 30 seconds, so if you've gone for the harder option, you're gonna change over to the other side for me, so change your leg, John. Work to your own pace. <laughs> No one saw that, don't worry. It's all right, pick yourself off the floor. <laughs> we'll come back to you in a minute. Um, <laughs> keep going, keep breathing, keep the feet moving unless you're doing the split stance, okay? How are we doing, folks, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Bit, warm. Bit warm. It's a warm one. Make sure you have a drink available, and if you want to take a drink at any point in time, folks, please do. Okay, you're coming up to your minute. That is it. Move on. We're going on to station number six. Station number six tonight is our uh, reverse crunch. There we go. Okay, so again, we have three options. We have Lee, who is sitting down in a chair. Okay, and you see here, is extending the legs out and bringing them back in, but not touching the floor with those ankles. Okay, so getting really close with his heels, but not actually touching. Leaning back into that chair slightly. Our intermediate is Nathan. Nathan here is lying down, extending the legs away, actually touching the floor this time and bringing the, the knees back in towards the chest. Palms flat to the floor, shoulders slightly elevated there as well, which is good, so we're putting some, uh, we're making the abs work continually there. And then Jack here, look. Can you notice the difference? Let's come a little bit lower. Right, so as Jack extends his legs, it doesn't actually touch the floor. So same move as Nathan had, uh, but we're not actually touching the floor. Okay, are we ready? Get yourself set then. A minute and let's go. Brilliant. So again, change your level as you need to. Uh, you might want to stay with the chair if you start in the chair. Uh, make sure it's a good quality chair, okay? So it's something that is sturdy, preferably with no arms. And you'll notice that Lee is sort of sat halfway, so he's not quite right at the very front. He's probably in the front third of the chair um, to actually do that extension. From here, the knees are coming in towards the chest, extending the legs away. Knees are still staying at 90 degrees, okay? So it's, a, it's just a rotation through the hips there. When we look at Jack, the legs actually extend out as well. So the legs are coming to, to parallel with the floor at the very bottom and as close as possible. There we go, keep going, keep going. Now let's just hone in on this, because <laughs> that's, that's the color, that's the color I want to put in the kitchen. I'll make a note of that, I'll take it to, uh, I'll take it to B&Q and get them to color match it. Okay, we're going on, station number seven. Jack was working hard there, do you see that? Blimey. <laughs> Glasses were steaming up and everything. Station number seven then is our skater hops. This is a good one. So uh, John is our, our base level and he's uh, 
reaching down to touch his shoes or get as close to them as he can, okay? It's a rotation through the midpoint. Sorry? I know you are, but people may not be able to do that, John. So you're getting as close to them as you can. <coughs> We're not all as agile as you, you know. Lee has got to step out to the side. Lee is our intermediate here, okay? And then we have Nathan, who's got the hard option again. And this is what most people would probably recognise as a skater. Hop. A little bit of loose ice on the, on the rink there, I think. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for a minute again. So you choose the one you want, and again, <coughs> change your level if you need to, change which one you want to do. All right, so your minute goes now. No, I'm okay. I've got one down there, mate. I'll go get it in a sec. So, with this one here, the back is staying straight. Have a look. Yep. So, back is straight with all of them. There's a twist down. So, there's a twist through the, the mid region. And there's um, a rotation through the trunk. But there's, the back is still straight. Now, here with Nathan, this is a, a balance challenge as well. So, you've got that shift of weight from side to side. You've actually got the balance as well. So if you feel at all unbalanced on this one, you might want to bring this down to a lower level. You could take it at a slower pace, so it's more um, slower paced so that you get the, the chance to recover your balance. Um, but take it at, one that, at a pace that feels right for you. Make sure you keep moving the whole time for us. This is our last station for this round, okay? And you have five seconds left, lads. Come on, you can do this. So keep going, keep controlling it, keep focusing on your technique, and that is your minute. Great job. Well done, everybody. Okay, so have a little march on the spot. Have a little drink. Get yourself a, a, a water. Get yourself something to drink. Have a little march on the spot. I'm just going to go and grab a, grab a, a drink of water, uh, and then we'll check in on our stadium tour, which is here, look. So that kicks off on Friday. 12 o'clock and we'll be uh, doing a live launch on Facebook Live again. So if you're around on Friday and you want to join us for the launch, then please do. That'll be Friday. We'll go and have a quick look at it and see what it is all about. Now, if you want to donate to this, you can. Uh, you can, any of our pages, our Facebook page, our Twitter, anything you want. So there we have, look, all of the uh, Premier League, Championship, League One and League Two clubs. You can go past, don't worry. Yeah, of course it is. Um, around England, <coughs> okay? It kicks off at the Rico Arena, and it finishes at the Rico Arena. Not literally, but that's where the start of the end point is. It's going to be a total of 2,359 miles. And they're going to ride around all of those. Every time they arrive at a uh, club, a penalty will be taken. All right? And this is how it's looking at the moment. So schedule-wise, we've got that going on, all right? So join us on Friday. We'll be here from 12 o'clock with the launch of it. Uh, it's a 24-hour challenge, so it'll be going through the night. Through the night to the next morning and the next lunchtime. Some tired legs, I think, we're going to have. But it'll be worth it. And this is all to raise money for our accessible toilet upstairs. So if you want to donate, if you can donate, please do. Um, you'll find all of the options. You'll find a donate button on all of our uh, relevant pages and sites. Um, you can also drop the money into us here at uh, Atrium Health. There is a um, form online on our webpage that you can download and you can bring it in to us here. Just post it through the post box, uh, secure post box on the front of the building, and we will pick that up. Any help you can give will be greatly appreciated. All right, so get yourself ready. Bring yourself in. Let's go for round two. So station one is our steering wheels. Thank you. A bit of... <laughs> A subtle change there, so I don't have to put my foot on it. I don't think anyone, no one noticed. We got away with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Okay. Oh, that's serious. No, you couldn't ask for better stuff, could you? You couldn't ask to work, work with better people. Okay, so again, our three options. Nathan is uh, marching, steering wheel close into the body and turning. Jack, same movement, 
but extended away, John in a split stance. Okay, so there's your three options. Choose which one you want, which one you want. Go up and down through those levels as you feel comfortable. Your minute starts now. Or to say it another way, go, go. How are we doing? Are we doing all right? Are we feeling the burn? Do what, sorry? So, there we go. Nathan and Jack, feet are moving the whole time. That's the important thing there, okay? Uh, if you've gone for the split stance, then we're going to change our leg over in a moment. You have two seconds left before you change your lead leg, you change your leg over. So, change your leg, jump. There we go. Level eight. Okay, and keep those uh, feet moving if you've gone for the uh, meat intermediate or the uh, baser, baser option. Um, and come up or down as you go through. That sounds awful, doesn't it? The baser option. Yeah. I, w- I was going to say basic, but it's not basic anyway. The starting option. That's the one we want. The starting option. The words just failed me today. Um, all oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say, if you want to go for the intermediate, there's Jack, but you know. There we go. That is your minute. Stop. He let me down. He let me down. Just as I went on to him, he went, oh. <laughs> okay, station two. This is your squats. So, remember again, you have your three options here. You have your base option, um, or our starting option, sorry. Our starting level, which is Lee. Down and up, no, no funky arms this time. We have, uh, we have Nathan, who uh, has got a weight close into the body, sitting back into it and pushing the weight up through the heels. And then Jack, who's the same as Nathan, but has that jump on the end, okay? So coming down into your squat and then putting a little jump on the end. Okay, so choose the one you want again. Are you ready? Let's go. A minute. And as soon as I moved away from Lee, we had some funky arms going on a minute ago. <laughs> they weren't like that. They were different to that. They were, yeah. It was a bit of a sunshine. Sunshine on a rainy day. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Nathan, here you can see, is pushing his weight down into his heels, sitting down. So the, the, the squat itself is the weight backwards, chest lifted. It's not a tip from the hips. It's not a hip hinge. How are we doing, Jack? Aching Dave. Aching Dave. Aching Dave. Aching Dave. Aching Dave. Is he, um, who's he related to then? <laughs> Did he sing Achy Breaky Heart? <laughs> How are we doing? Keep going, keep going. Focus on your technique. Don't lose the technique. I know you're getting tired. I know you'll be starting to feel it, but focus on that technique still. It's all about that technique. Yeah, and as I said before, it's not about quality, quantity, it's about quality. So it's not about doing them fast and doing lots of them. It's about doing good quality ones. That is your minute, folks. Well done. Okay, we're moving on to station number three. This is our single arm row again. So this is our uh, weight in one arm, tipping from the hips. <clears throat> John was our basic, remember again, our starting level maintaining that straight position in the body and just driving up, keeping the elbow close into the body so it focuses into the back of the arm. Intermediate. Are they? What did they say? That's not nice, is it? I don't know how you put up with it, mate. It's abuse, really. Okay, there's Lee, um, who... What are you doing, Lee? Sorry. <laughs> The difference there is that twist through the trunk and he's driving it a bit higher. So he's actually standing up from it. And Nathan, exactly the same as Lee, but quality's a lot better, obviously. <laughs> and as rising up onto his toes as well. as well. You've got a better hairdo. Well, got hair to start off with. I mean, that's, that's a, a, a starter, isn't it? Okay, so are we ready? Let's go! I'm going to call you out in 30 seconds and you're going to change to the other arm. So have a look at John's posture here. Nice straight back. There is no rotation on this, okay? So he's driving up. He's keeping the elbow close into the body. If we come to Lee, you'll see the instant difference there. There's that rotation within there, and it's a drive up. A move you could probably assimilate with it. If you imagine one of the old um, petrol lawnmowers with the starter, yeah? It's that sort of motion there, isn't it? He's pulling the arm back to get the most out of it. And Nathan exactly the same, but onto his toe. He's changed your other hand, guys. Okay, so exactly the same on the other side. 
Again, still maintaining that good posture, still staying strong. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just remember to stay that two meters away, guys. <laughs> okay. And again, Nathan, you can see there that movement there just springing up. Now, if you wanted to change from Nathan's down to, to Lee's or up, then obviously you just need to remember that you've got to come out of that split stance or go into the split stance. Nathan doesn't have a split stance. Okay, that is your minute. We are done. Good job. Let's go and have a look at Lee with a pained face again. As we go to our wall sit. So this is our wall sit, yeah? You've got your three options again. All right, so we've got our starting option, sitting against the wall, and coming down to a degree that feels comfortable for yourself, yeah? John, exactly the same there. You can come down to a, a level that feels comfortable for yourself, but with a weight close into the body. So that's really the only difference between John and um, Jack, okay? Then we come to Lee, and the big difference here is that it's a bit lower down, and it's holding the weight out in front. I can't comment on that, Lee. That would be, that would be like the pot calling the kettle black, really. So. I'm not going to. All right. Are you ready? Choose the one that you want and get yourself ready. And let's go. So a minute into it. Sit into it. If you need to stand up and reset yourself, do. Okay? But if you can stay in that position, feel free to do so. Yeah? Focus on it and make sure you keep breathing. So really important with this one, don't hold your breath. There could be a, a tendency, <laughs> tendency there to hold your breath. Concentration. Oh, no. You're right, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, don't hold your breath. Whenever we do something uh, of this type of move where you're able to hold a position, uh, it's very easy to, to hold your breath while you're doing it. Don't do that. Breathe regularly in through your nose and out through your mouth. You have 15 seconds left oh. to go from now. So keep going. And I remember, Lee, with, if you've gone for the one that Lee's gone for, if you want to take a rest, just bring the weight in towards your chest and then push it away. There's some real heavy breathing going on here. Listen to this. Listen to this. Oh, can you hear that? <laughs> that is your minute. Well done. Good job. You're okay, Lee. I could tell that that hurt. That hurt. Now, you don't want to hurt yourself. This um, notion that used to go around of no pain, no gain, we don't want that at all, okay? We don't need pain to have gain. Okay, our starting option is with Nathan. This is our Arnold Press. So, uh, the resistance is added in by yourself. So, you do whatever you feel comfortable with, all right? Jack is our intermediate level, and here there is some weight that's added in. It could be a, tin, a couple of tins of beans, could be those weighted uh, bottles. Well, I'm just saying, at home, you know, if you haven't got hand weights, it could be that. And then we have John, who's in the famous split stance again. Okay? So toes are pointing forwards onto the ball of the feet at the back, okay? And uh, I will call out 30 seconds for you, so if you're going for that one, you need to change your leg halfway through so you're not doing it all on the same leg. Okay, are we ready? Choose the one you want and let's go for it. Now, um, in all seriousness with, with Nathan, if you've gone for the starting option, um, you put the resistance in. So you get the workout or you don't get the workout as you, as you choose, okay? So if you don't resist against it, you're not going to get the workout. So it's, it's totally in your hands, but it's well worth actually adding your own resistance in. It's so easy to do. And there we have Jack just with those weights there. What, seven kilograms, John? Is that Jack? Something like that? Kilos. Ten kilos. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Change to your other leg if you've gone for the split stance. Um, but yeah, weight wise, if you don't have hand weights at home, things like tins of beans, bottles that have got stuff in them, just make sure it's something that's not going to spill over you. All right? So. Um, Milk bottles, you could put water in them, you could put sand in them, you could put anything in them, yeah? It will just give you some weight. So if you haven't got weights at hand, you can improvise, or you can go for the option here where you add your own resistance in. That is your minute. Well done, folks. Move on. Station number six. So station number six is our reverse curl. So station number six is our reverse curl. All right. Um... And for our reverse curl, 
we have our starting level with Lee. Lee is sitting into the chair, uh, pushing those legs away, trying to keep them off the floor. But if you need to touch the floor every now and again, feel free to do so. But try and get those ankles and those heels down towards the floor, but not touching. Nathan's our intermediate. And here we've changed the position slightly. So we've given you a different option here. Actually in a seated position, leaning back onto his hands and then the legs exactly the same. So bringing them in towards the chest, coming back down, but actually placing the heels onto the floor. Change the position here as well. Uh, prone position is not something we'd like to go into for a great deal of time, so hence the change of position. So sitting up again, uh, leaning back onto those arms and extending those legs away. Now the good thing with this is you're getting a double whammy here because holding it in that position, you're working into the back of your arms as well. So you're getting a second workout completely free of charge on us. <laughs> what could you ask for better, eh? There we go, let's start with our minute. All right, so. As always, try and keep the posture strong. So although Lee is leaning back, although all three of them are leaning back, look, if we have a look at that position, just in the lean position, the, the, um, the back is straight. Okay, try and keep your heels off the floor if you can on this uh, starting position, but if you need to put them down, put them down. With your intermediate position, we have a definite um, placement of those heels onto the floor okay and again with our higher level we're trying to keep them off the floor so again if we come down look you can see as jack extends out it doesn't actually <laughs> touch the floor um which is what you're aiming for but again if you need to pop it down every now and again <laughs> pop it down okay you're working really hard here don't worry jack i've got the color from my kitchen you're all right <laughs> Okay, there we go. There we are. That is your minute. Move on. Keep your feet moving. Grab yourself a drink if you need one. You okay? Good, good. Everyone's all right. We're going for our skater hop. This is our last station. I forgot to say my favourite word, the last one, that that was our penultimate. Penultimate. I've missed it out. I haven't said it once Next yet. Week. Next week. I'm going to have to try and remember. It's my favourite word. Base option. Our starting point. <laughs> Touch of the toes. I did, yeah. Oh, they did, don't worry. Could be used in a court of law. There we go, and then we go for our intermediate option. There's a little bit of a dance in it now as well, look. A little bit of a soft shoe shuffle this time. We've got a little two step to the side. And then we go for our higher option, which is the actual. Um, full-blown skater hop, so actually hopping from side to side. If you think about speed skaters, this is that, that sort of motion that you're going for, okay? Back nice and straight for all three of them. Are you ready? Let's give it all you've got. Folks, this is your last one. Go. Okay, off. Brilliant job. Okay, keep going, keep going. So, straight back with a twist. Can you see? So we're not rolling those shoulders forward, we're keeping the back straight. Um, Lee, exactly the same, the back is straight, reaching across, but it's that step across, okay? So you're actually stepping into the middle, then across, and then you've got Nathan who's doing the actual hop that's, that's usually associated with skaters. So speed skaters especially would tend to do this type of move. It's a balance challenge as well on this one. Now, if you're... Um, if you're missing us all, then hopefully one day we'll be, we'll be back together. Um, but in the meantime, you might be able to catch Lee on uh, Strictly Come Dancing this year with that two-step. Um, <laughs> and keep going. You're almost there. You have a last couple of seconds, and that is you done for the night. Well done, folks, everybody. That is your circuit for tonight. Great job, everybody. The guys here are going to have a walk around to cool down. I need you to have a march on the spot. Um, do something, get a drink, have a march on the spot, do some gentle knee lifts, bring yourself down. You need to be cooling down for about five minutes, okay? You're aiming to bring yourself back down so your breathing is back to normal, your heart rate is back to normal. Um, you don't want to be totally out of breath, okay? Really important that you do this cool down though, don't avoid this, okay? You really do need to do it and if you want to do a few stretches afterwards as well, you can. Just to remind you that uh, we'll be back with you on Friday at 12 o'clock for the kickoff of uh, stadium tours. That will be at 12 o'clock on uh, Friday. 
So join us for that. <clears throat> uh, we'll be here live on Facebook for that. And then we're back next Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock for our Tuesday circuit and 6.15 to, on Wednesday evening next week for our evening circuit. We'll say goodbye to everybody as they come past. Uh, so we'll grab everybody in to say goodbye to you as they walk around. They're actually doing the tidying up as well. Look, what more could you ask for? So, say bye, John. Bye, John. Hang on, sit again. Bye, John. There you go. Nathan. Yeah. There you go. There's Jack, look. Hi, and Lee. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and from me, goodbye, folks. That's all.